<laughs> Welcome to Parker's Post, everybody. Man, I got my man, Military James, today. And, uh, you know, a military been doing a lot of going out and getting these boutique cigars. You know, he been going out, out of town, <laughs> going to these cigar events. Man, I don't know what's next. So, military man, tell me, uh, what all you been doing, man, these last few weeks, man? Uh, so the biggest trip that I took was um, I went down to Miami to Black Smoke. Uh, so a lot of people don't uh, know what Black Smoke is. It's a predominantly African American cigar event. Uh, some would consider it is uh the black version of Big Smoke. Uh, but on a much much smaller scale. Um, so um, Tobacco Kennedy or TK, as a lot of people know, he's that's his uh kind of his his dream child. Um, so it was, it was okay. Um, room for improvement, room for growth, but I think they got a good start. Um, some inconsistencies, a lot of that has to do with, uh, one, I think a lot of the people that helped them out are volunteers. So, uh, you know, you kind of get what you pay for, so to speak. Um, but, um, uh, some of the, uh, activities that they had were, it just felt repetitive at, at, at best. Uh, but they did do some things, uh, they took care of the VIP members. Um, uh, so that was a really good thing. You can see the separation, uh, based on what you paid as a VIP member and what you paid for as a regular attendee. So I thought that was, uh, a nice change. Uh, to kind of set the curve, so to speak. Right. Um, if I had to give some suggestions of what I think will be beneficial, one, uh, have a black tie affair. Um, let people get dressed up. Let people, you know, showcase. Because uh, you have people from all over the United States come in there. Um, and if, let's just say I came from, I don't know, St. Louis or somewhere like that. And I'm coming to Florida. I can come to Florida anytime I want. But if I'm coming out specifically for a cigar event, I would like to be able to have some really nice after, you know, after five, you know, black tie event photos to be able to showcase this event. Put it up there. If we're trying to market this as uh, not necessarily an alternative, but something for us as African-Americans, our own cigar event, then we need to do it. Um with a lot more class, a lot more style. It's not saying any of that wasn't there, but we need to have these these different types of events. It's great to have the backyard kind of vibe going on. That's great. You need at least one day of that so everybody can kind of come in, meet and greet, get a chance to relax, uh, and then have uh, events. You are in Miami, and it is so much there. It would have been fantastic if we could have you know, he had a big bus. It'd been great if they could have did a tour, like a factory tour. Um, went to some of the some of the locals that are there. Uh, that's been there, like some mom and pop shops. That's been like 30, 40 years. Uh, show some love to the local community there. Uh, Can I stop you right there for a minute? Let me stop you right there for a minute. You know, because I I think you don't went past to where I want to kind of <laughs> cut off at. All right. Um, so. So you went down to the Black Smoke, and uh, TK, man, I want to tell you, you know, you're doing a great job for what you're doing, uh, for what you're working with down there in Miami. You know, I kind of understand the industry. Uh, but I want to tell you this here. Uh, military, uh, was this your first one going uh, as, as far as the Black Smoke? Yes, it's my first Black Smoke. I've been to other cigar events, of okay, course. So, so, so let's just keep it on Miami. Okay. Uh, uh, what other type of cigar events you have been to in Miami? Uh, I went to what was that one? It was a cigar event uh, two years ago, 2019. I went down there for a cigar event. It wasn't Black Smoke. Um, okay. It was in it was actually in Miami, Miami, Miami Beach area. Uh, okay. That was done by 
Foundation Cigars, I think it is. Was it Foundation? I can't remember the name of the cigar company that put it on. Um, it was about two hundred dollars, about one hundred and eighty dollars. Oh, um, but shoot, they try to get you out your head. Well, we we remember we haven't got into the details of the black. Smoke, I know so it. That's what I want to break it down. I you, you know I, yeah. I don't want you to give everybody the information at one. No, time. no, 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 no. Um, um, now, but it was good though. Show. It was good. I got a chance to meet. That was my first time uh, meeting. Um, I think it was uh, Drew Estates. One of their big time reps was there. Okay. Um. You know, it may not have been, it wasn't Jonathan Drew, but it was one of the reps, which is pretty cool. Um, been to uh, a couple of different cigar events. Uh, of course, I've been out to Big Smoke out in Vegas. Uh, you've done, you know, of course, a bunch of them here in Tampa. Hey, 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 hey. Miami, keep it based on Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for the for the Miami, I've been to two events in Miami. This made number three. Uh, so if I was to compare all three, this one, um, it had some some good pieces in it, um, but there were some pieces that were missing. Okay. Like the first one I went to, and really it was in 2018, I went to that one. Uh, it was a Friday, no, Saturday, a Friday was kind of like a barnyard kind of thing, you know, outside, you know, under the tent. And then Saturday was a black tire fair. Now they had some events in the morning. Uh, they had a couple of seminars. Uh, they had a couple of industry folks get up there and talk. I did not attend the seminars, but I did go to the Black Tie Fair. That was really nice. Uh, it was at one of the hotels and one of the banquet yeah. rooms. They had a live band. And it was basically uh, just a night out. Uh, they had a couple of people get up and talk. They did a couple of raffles. Um, and then the other one I went to was, uh, well, that one, I went to one at Rocky Patel's, but that wasn't in Miami. Okay. Okay, so so let me ask you. Uh, is it a Miami thing, or 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 is it just a, a cigar thing when we come when we get the negativity that comes to cigar events? Now we we're not even talking about the black smoke. I'm talking about the cigar event right. in general. I would like to say. And this is just my own personal feeling. I think it's a Miami thing. Because okay. um, you can go to cigar events other places and you get, you always going to get mixed feedback because you're never going to be able to please everybody. But what you get when you're in Miami, uh, one, the cost, uh, just the cost to do business there is higher. Then you have uh, transportation issues, heavy traffic. And then depend on where you are, you get hit with a, you know, a resort fee or a tourism tax. You know, those things are the lifeblood of Miami to help keep the industry going, help keep the environment down there as lively as it is and attract those tourist dollars. But when you're trying to put on an event, um, sometimes that kind of works against what you're trying to do because it adds an inherent cost. And because Miami is so spread out, uh, now, if you have everybody at one centralized location, uh, but you've got a really, really good deal because you, you know, you got to connect somewhere at a venue that's say thirty minutes away. Now you have to figure out transportation or have people, you know, make their way over there, and they're not familiar with the city. Uh, it does make that a little challenging. So I think that uh, if you look at what Miami is doing and they're trying. But the cost, and I think that's why you don't see as many cigar events down in Miami because of costs associated with it. Vice go to Vegas, you can go to one place and you can do everything in that one venue. So it's kind of like one stop shopping. I don't think they have that kind of blueprint down there because of maybe some of the, the local dynamics that, right. that that keep it from happening. But if they could come up with a one stop shopping, you go to one spot, everything, every event's there. Even your black tie, you know, you have your, your smoke out, whatever it is, it can be held in one facility or at least a couple of facilities adjacent to each other. That would be ideal. Okay. So uh that we ain't gonna uh, uh that we're gonna keep it positive, man. Cause I think cause I think the overall I think we had a I think we had a great time at the event. But I want you to give me 
the greatest thing that you took from the black smoke? The greatest thing that I took from black smoke, I got an opportunity to see black culture and black cigar smokers at their finest. And I say that to say, we had an opportunity to meet people from all over the United States uh, that came down there just for the black smoke uh, and they represented their cities. So, you know, people had their t-shirts on, there were people that they were all dressed as like, you know, some people had on complete outfits. Um, and then there was no issues, no violence, no ruckus, none of that. It was just pure love, which was amazing because oftentimes in the media when we have an event we get the negativity that come with it and the negativity oftentimes is not us it's the people in the surrounding areas we didn't right. experience any of that there was no law enforcement interaction there was nothing uh so uh my hat goes off uh to tk and his and his crew that allow everything to go seamless without any hiccups. So I was I was happy about that. Okay. Well. And then we got some a lot of vendors were there. Uh and you got a chance to uh, the two sisters uh from Miami, the Afro Cuban sisters from Miami, they was actually at the events and they were walking around. And they was actually interacting with everybody that was there. So you know a lot of people never got a chance to meet what you considered a uh, cigar royalty. Uh so they got an opportunity to meet somebody that they've read about a cigar aficionado or cigar snob. They got a chance to meet the people, okay. talk to them, get photos. So it was it was a good thing. Okay, so so tell me, what was the biggest low that you've seen? The biggest low, I think, is that they had a host hotel uh, in Miami Lakes. No events were done there. So they had people coming in and, you know, you go on the website, they had you book at the hotel. But none of the events were there. So those people that were at that hotel, they was, it was just a place for them to stay. But there was nothing there at the hotel for the people that actually stayed there. Everything okay. else was in Liberty City, which for a lot of people was 45 minutes, maybe even an hour away based on where they were staying at. So I think okay. that was the biggest letdown. You had, a, you had an opportunity to capture a captivated audience in one location. You could have not said you could not got the park. Okay, so let me ask you this here. Um, next year, the Black Smoke. What is one thing that you would love to have done differently than it was done this past year? Uh, have a Black Tie event. I really think they, and the Black Tie event uh, be fantastic. We do that. Maybe we drum up some money for a local charity. Um, do a couple of raffles, do something where we can showcase black excellence. And okay. I think that's what I think that's what to me that was missing. And if they can incorporate that, that just moves that that just moves the needle a little further. Okay. Well, well, military, uh, we want to thank you for the recap on the black smoke. Hey man, I hope this don't get you no hot water, man. But I'm gonna tell you, you know, uh, cause I want I you to see. keep it real, man. That's that's the only way to, to do it to keep it real, you know, uh uh that you didn't say anything negative, you know. I think because I think the people that's on the other side of the coast, they need to hear this stuff here, you know, because yeah. a lot of times, a lot of times people look at the image of Miami and uh, they they don't understand the cost that comes with Miami, yeah. And, yeah. and um, it's, a, it's, it's a big cultural divide as well. And that's another thing. Uh, so you will, everything is not South Beach. So let's just, just you know, put it. So right. when people think of Miami, everything South Beach. It's not South Beach. In certain areas, people look at the area and make a judgment on the area. So like certain areas we went to, if you wasn't comfortable in your own skin, you like, oh, that place looked too rough to go there. But we had a fantastic time and nobody bothered you or anything like that. So I think people have to get past the the, the media and all of that other chaos and, and probably some of the issues you bring with you from wherever you're coming from. Just go down there and embrace the culture, embrace the people there, and you will have a great time. Right. Well, well, military, we're going to thank you for the recap. And uh, 
Man, you know what we always say, man. We're going to stay cool on a day like today, but we're all going to stay dry. And what we do, smoke what we like. 